Alright gang, we've got to make this a quick one because uh, we got things to do. Uh, we know about the deck that's got to go to Miss Zippo's. Yank that off real quick, get it thrown in the back of the truck. I'm also going to be taking the Sunstar out there to help her mow. But we'll talk, touch a little bit real quick on Trader. Trader is now sporting its D310 decals. How's that for service? Like the day after I posted the video and talked about it, my buddy just went ahead and printed them up. And then uh, in this box is what's going to be my muffler stock, my stack stock, stack stock. Um, it's an inch and a quarter, which comes real close to the uh, size of the exhaust port over here. And I did see where uh, one gentleman showed me how he used a washer to make his uh, flange. Um, with my machining background, I'm just going to machine up a nice one. But I do thank him very, very much for that tip and that lead on how to do it. Uh, it is Schedule 80. So it's going to be a little bit of a bear to bend. But I am going to heat it up and bend it. It is soft metal by the way and yep it came from summit but I have uh, I won't be able to use my conduit benders which are I think tucked away back over in that corner right there but what I am going to use is a rummage sale find that should bend it just fine and that's this massive bender right here that guy right there it's all steel it'll get the job done it'll do it just fine so we'll get it bent the way we want it bent and get it on there and that won't be the final stack um, I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to use I do have this stainless pipe that I've just got a screen on it. Uh, this is actually just a tailpipe off of a stainless tail. It's just stainless tailpipe, but that inner pipe goes quite a ways. Uh, it's got kind of a crappy weld around it, but that is a rat rod, so we may go this route. Or I have um, this slash cut. That's just an open pipe I can roll coal with. Uh, or I can just come up with one, come up with something different. But uh, I'm getting kind of low on my stacks. Everyone likes them so much, they're, they're, they're getting them off me. They're taking them off me. But it's... Uh, like I said, just a quick video to show you. Got my decals on the D310. Uh, still haven't done anything with the diesel as far as getting it mounted permanently or getting the first start going. I've been doing a mad dash to grab up some tools for a neighbor buddy of mine, David. Um, he's got to do some brake lines, so I'm giving him everything he needs here. Double flare tool. Uh, generic bender a couple of rigid benders he won't need the bigger one I'm sure but I'll send it with him and just so that he knows how to use it I took a piece of brake line and went ahead and bent so that he can see that so if he ends up needing that this weekend um, be able to just come in grab everything up and go and then this is a box full of Vanguard goodies we've got a couple of heads in there intake runner carburetor uh, all, all kinds of stuff in here um, they're for a vertical shaft but they will also switch over to a horizontal shaft uh, but that's mainly for and that's a vertical shaft engine not a horizontal that'll mainly go towards uh, resurrecting this one I'll be able to just pull the head throw one of these good heads on and be done with it uh, what else what else? What else? I know there was something else. 
What else was there, Zippo? There was something else. But anyway, I'm going to take probably the Sunstar and the Cub Cadet both out to Miss Zippo's. In case uh, I run out of time. Because I've, I've, I'm running way behind. It's been like a revolving door here in the shop for the last few days. And because of it being a revolving door and me flapping my gums instead of getting works done. <laughs> uh, it's been a little bit hectic today just trying to get everything. Uh-oh. Lost a pin. No, nope, I didn't lose a pin. Where we have the small end. What happened here? Small pin. There we go. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. There. No, nope. I did it backwards. Did I? No, I didn't. I got it right. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Babbling, Zippo trying to figure out his puller. We're just talking about pullers on a live stream today with uh, Bob. Um, smart fella. He's got his own uh, small engine repair shop. He's been running more or less, I guess, for the past 30 years. But I was on there with Papa Sweener. That's uh, Bama Mud Mowers for anybody who doesn't know. Great channel. Great guy. Oh. Uh, the air filter. Um, I am, and you'll see why here in just a second. I'm going to get this out of the way. Uh, if you look, there's my air intake right there. Right there. Right there. So I'm just going to fabricate a uh, air box to come up with the proper size opening and keep the hole. It'll be up about just like that, about like it was before with that red plate when that plate was in there. So, in fact, I may even use part of that. But I'm just going to make my intake runner there so that the filter continues to pop out the top. And then I was thinking, because uh, I had uh, Willie CK offer me some perforated sheet metal then I got to thinking well this is the grill frame or the grill material I'm going to use for triple X this is what was on it and it's plenty big enough get this out of the way get that out of the way get that out of the way and it's plenty big enough for me to make my um, cover for my hole. So Willie CK, thank you very much, buddy. But I've got it covered, literally covered, ha uh -huh. And it's got a little bit of a crease to it. I can straighten that out. And it's got a couple little cracks. I'm not too worried about that. Again, it's a rat rod, so. We will have a kind of a different repair coming up next week. That I think uh, at least some of you are going to enjoy. I don't work on cars for the most part. Unless they're my own. But my decal guy has the 1962 Chevy Bel Air four-door beautiful car um, it is not getting oil they're uh, hydraulic so it just has uh, fixed rockers it's not getting any oil to the front four rockers you've got the perch that mounts to the head the oil comes up through it oil's not coming up through it it does not look good at all so He's going to get that over to me, and we're going to pull that rocker arm assembly off and see if we can't clear up that uh, lack of oil problem. Hopefully it's easy enough. 
Uh, I suspect I may need to put a high volume oil pump in it on top of cleaning out the oil ports and whatnot to make sure this thing's going to oil the way it's supposed to. But again, it was just a quick one. Show you that I already got my decals for Trader and for its diesel. Uh, let you know what I'm going to do about the cover there that I've already got that covered and show my appreciation to both Willie CK and to uh, the gentleman who um, has a Sears, old Sears garden tractor that he put uh, a diesel in, the same diesel as a matter of fact, same type of diesel, uh, that he's the way that he did it it's fine i mean it works it's great but i want to take a different approach i want it to be uh i, I really hesitate to say this i'm just anal i'm obsessive compulsive so it's going to be a little bit more of a professional ish uh job than than not um but we'll shoot a video making that too and seeing what kind of luck we have in getting that uh, pipe to bend. Hopefully we can, fingers crossed. Uh, if not, uh, I can take little wedges out of it, bend it and weld it uh, to get it to 90 degree from the engine. But that's it, that's enough. It's your friendly neighborhood Zippo. I promise you guys I will see you on the next one. I have got to get busy. Later, I'm out of here.